Hello guys, my name is Vishwas Aital and I hope you're all fine. So let's solve today's problem for lead code. So the problem number is 2246. The name of the problem is longest path with the different adjacent characters. Okay. So the question says you are given a tree that is that is connected undirected graph and has no cycle rooted at node 0 consists of n nodes numbered from 0 to n minus 1. The tree is represented by 0 index array parent of size n where parent of i is the parent of a uh, node i okay so this is the this is how we have to create a tree. So what is this? This is rule number one. Since node zero is root, the uh, parent zero is equal to minus one. So what is this? This is rule number one, how to create a tree. So you are given a string S of length N, where S of I is a character assigned to the node of I. Rule number two. This is rule number two. We have to break the question uh, in rules. So this is rule number two. After that, return the length of the longest path in the tree, such that no pair of adjacent node on the path has a same character assigned to the name. This is the, this is we have to return the answer. This is we have to return the answer. So this is rule number three. See, for uh, example, they gave this solution, but in in real case, in real time exam, we will they will be not given this. We have to create our own tree. So let's create our own tree. First, so first we will assign parent. So what the what is what does rule number one says? So rule number one says where parent i is is the parent of node i. So first let's assign the number here zero eight. We make it zero lighter. Huh? Zero one two three four and five. We assign the number here. So now we have to create a tree. So what does uh, here says when parent of i is the parent of node i. So since node zero is the node root. So parent of 0 is equal to minus 1. So first is minus 1. The root is 0. So 0 is connected uh, 1 and 2. So this is a parent node. So 1 and 2 is connected to 0. So we have to create 1 and 2. And 3 and 4 is connected to 1. So we will create here 3 and 4. And 2 is connected to here 5. So this is how we create a tree. This is our rule number one. Now what we have to do here, we have to rule. We have to we have to go for rule number two. So you are given a string s of length n, when s of i is the character assigned to the node i. We got the question here. So we have to assign this number zero, one, two. 3, 4, and 5. So what does 0 has? 0 has label A. What does 1 has? 1 has a label of B. What does 2 has? 2 has a label of A. What does 3 has? 3 has a label of C. What does 4 has? 4 has a label of B. And what does 5 has? 5 has a label of C. We have created our tree successfully. So we don't need to depend upon the example. We have created our tree successfully. Let's see the three is same. Zero has A, one has, okay, one has B. Okay, it is uh, suffered. So two has A, A has five has E, three has C, four has B. So this three is correct. Now let's find the third rule. What does the third rule says? The third rule says here: return the length of the longest path in the tree such that no pair of adjacent node on the path have the same character assigned. What does this mean? So we have to find a different label in the, uh, in the, adjacent, in the adjacent nodes. Let's see here. Wait, I will make this guy big. Um, huh. 
here first find the root part one a part one let's say we will go from uh, last so five uh, five label is e and two label is a so which is different so we will uh, we will uh, the length is one and two and we will check for uh, two part does uh, part two uh, and uh, node two and node a have different label no so we will as we will have the longest root here is two let's check for uh, this one uh, this last guy does uh, uh, c is different from uh, this node three is different from node one label yes so one and two one and two after that we have to check for his parent parent uh, parent uh, a node does one node uh, is different from zero node label is different yes so three so here three let's check for this node now let's check for this node does this node's parent is different no the label is same so this will be zero so the um, maximum of these two is three we have to return the answer has three does the uh, output is three here Yes, the output is three here. Let's see the hint here. The hint is given here. So first do bfx of a root at each node. To calculate the longest path we have and make the form two branch of the subtree. So first hint is this. What is the second hint? To do that, we need to find the length of the longest from each of the node of a children. So we understand this. This uh, hint is very good. And problem is also very good. Let's put a like for that. Let's see how I solved it. I will do dry run also of this. Like many people told, like do a dry run. I will do the dry run also for this code. Like first, I created an adjacent um, array uh, from list list integer 2D array. And the length is parent of the length, obviously. After that, I created uh, I uh, two, uh, two uh, for uh, exiting the null exception, I, I assigned everyone has a new array list. To like, if, if if we didn't assign this, we will have a null case error. So I have to assign this null case uh, to the, avoid this. We have to add new array list. After that, uh, we have to tra traverse to one till the parent of the land and keep on adding. Why not zero? But zero is a root, so that's why we have to start from one. I did zero first. And I got error. Then after that, it was good. So we have to add, we have to add the parent. We are uh, we have to get the parent ID and we have to add the I. So one, two, three, four. We have to get. Uh, we have to add. After that, what we have to do? We have to make a function dfx. In the hint they told, like in the first uh, hint they told, we have to make a dfx, and we have to uh, uh, we have to travel like we have to give the input. First is parent. Second is child, third is adjacent, which we created here, and third uh, and the last one is the string name. Let's see here, what is DFS? What did we wrote in DFS? So we imp we we made we made a two point maximum maximum uh, like maximum number and second maximum number. After that, I traverse to the I will traverse to the adjacent from get child. So we have to traverse to the all the adjacent. So if after doing that, if the parent is equal to pa uh, uh, child, then we have to skip this. We have to skip this array. We have to skip this array and we have to go forward. If that not the case, so we have to traverse it back. So why we are doing this? If we don't do this, it will show us a time complexity error. So why time complexity error? So it will go again to the parent and it will go to again child. It will go to again parent it will go again to the child it keeps on going till the time limit exits so that's why we have to say the parent is not equal to child then what we'll do we have to find the length of the child length so how we did here we have to find the child here we have to find the child length after that we have to find a maximum so first what we'll do here we'll find the parent uh, child uh, length so we will traverse till full, after finding full uh, length, we have to traverse everything. After finding the length, we have to check. We have to check. After after going to the last, we have to check what I did here. 
I check if the, the if both are equal or not. In this case, both were equal. Then the length will be zero. In in yeah, if if x dot character of x is equal to equal to x dot character of child, then the length will be equal to zero. I hope you understand this uh, equation. So in this equation, like b and b is equal, so this will be zero. This both are different, so we will be getting adding one. We will add only one here. After adding this. And if the length is less than uh, maximum, so we have to add, we have to uh, reassign maximum two as maximum one, which will be which will be second lowest. And after that, maximum one will be the length. I hope you understood. Else, if the maximum one is more than that, do we know not to do? But we have to check: is that length maximum two is more than or equal to length? If that is a case. If that length is more than maximum two, we have to reassign the maximum two as the length. After that, after finishing this full child, and we have to we have to iterate to every adjacent um, this one, adjacent child. After finishing this, we have to check what is the maximum of uh, this one. Uh, maximum. So max path is uh, maximum one plus maximum two, and we have to return maximum one. I hope you understood. Let's see, and what is output here? It's maximum path one, uh, path maximum path plus one. So y plus one. Many people ask like y plus one. Why, like you didn't explain y plus one? So I am explaining here, y plus one. So here, just assume here what we did here. We just in this case where the character is not different, we just added plus one. We didn't consider this guy. We consider this only this guy. And we will consider this guy if this is a case. If in this case, we can we didn't consider this guy. We consider this guy, and we I will rub it. I will make it more clear. So just assume we reach here, C, and we saw that C is different than B. So now length will be equal to. The length will be equal to one because we had only one here. After that. After reaching B here, we have to add, we have to add this guy. So this will be length equal to two. After that, we have to return it. Maximum what is the length is maximum two here. In this case, only one is maximum. So two plus, and we have to add two plus one to get the uh, sim let, let get the similar output. So some people told, why don't we add two here? If that is the case, why don't we add two? If we add two here, just assume if we add two here, so this will be two and this will be two, which is four. That is, yeah, that is impossible. There is no four node. There is only three nodes. That's why we add only plus one. After the end of the array, we will just add plus one to find the longest. I hope you understood why plus one. I hope each and every line is clear for you. If there is no, if there is any anything you didn't understand, please tell. And now we will do dry run of this. We will dry run of this public or public of DFS. I hope you don't need to dry run this. You understood this. We'll do dry run of this. I open the IntelliJ for that. Let's do dry run. So this is the same code here. So we will do a dry run here. So we will do debug here. Let's do dry run. So here maximum is equal to zero. We will go here max equal to zero. The child will be zero and the adjacent side will be six. So here written the parent is equal to minus one and x equal to one, which is not equal, which is true. So that that means it will go inside the length. Yes, then it will go to reverse. It will go to the reverse again. It will go to again up here, and it will check for maximum. What is the maximum here? Maximum is zero. Maximum is zero. So it will one. The child is equal to one, and adjacent side is uh, six. We will check what is the parent. Parent was zero because we have reassigned here. We have reassigned here. Now the parent, now the child is equal to one, and uh, x is equal to three. So this x will become child, and this will become parent. Yes, see, child is three, and this one is. And we have to we have to go exit because here. We ask we x equal to three here, and this will be. 
uh, we will go to the end of the loop here after doing that then we have to again iterate and we have to find maximum that will be maximum zero then we have to again see the length the child is here one and the adjacent size is six and uh, x is three and s is string we have to see this is true or false this is false if it is false then what we have to go we have to go here length plus one so now length is added one so here this is a true because maximum maximum one is zero and length is more so we have to reassign it after reassigning we have to go again here child one so we have to retreat to every child here and we have to find maximum after finding the maximum let's see the maximum will be equal to two here is zero v it will be zero because it was equal so we will go again again we have to traverse again till we get we have till we get maximum equal to two let's see we got maximum let's see we have to traverse to every guy after we have went to two times now this is child two now we the child will be zero the size will be this and we have to now only three steps are that we have to assign the tree again now we got the output has two here after getting output here we have to add maximum path plus one and the output will be printed let's run see stop and run we will get three let's submit this code i hope i am like i told like i did write on like for every step we have done the output is this 78.62 memory is uh, 71.6 so we have to traverse to every array till reach here after reaching that we have to again do the minus 2 and we have to uh, alterate everything until we reach here i hope you understood every line of this code if not please tell me i will re-explain it and if you like my video please do like and subscribe to my channel 1000 is a target if you do that it will be very great thank you have a nice day bye